I'm Dolly Brunei. Uh, a request was made that I do a video on time. And that's what I'm going to do today is focus on the idea of time. What is time? And um, the, the, the thing is that time, uh, to understand time, we need to understand that uh, the foundation of everything is mind. Uh, time is uh, is mind uh, producing thoughts, and those thoughts uh, changing our present moment, and that creates the illusion of time. Time is an illusion created by consciousness uh, changing or by changing our changing thoughts. Now, our thoughts when they change, what happened previously to that change? It's memory it becomes memory so right now I'm talking to you and those and what I'm saying becomes memory in, immediately it's now memory and uh, as, as I keep talking that memory keeps changing or keeps being recorded and it's not unlike a, a movie a film or a, a videotape or, or this video right here where we uh, where you see things changing and your memory records it so that's what time is time is cha consciousness changing and um, and it being recorded in our memories without memory we would we'd be lost we wouldn't know what who we were what we were doing we would you can't just live in the present moment without having some reflection on it so reflection is how we we stay um, stay focused we reflect on what we've done uh, for example if I say I want to go have a I think I'll have a ham sandwich at lunchtime today uh, this is one of my favorites uh, my issues is a ham sandwich um, you can indict a ham sandwich they the lawyers say and so uh, you, you, I think I'll have a ham sandwich at lunchtime and so I um, set that in my mind this is like the uh, the outline for what's going to happen at noon and then at noon time I take that outline and I and I make it happen I, I go go through it and it happens and I have a ham sandwich and I and I eat it and I I'm, I'm happy because eating a ham sandwich can be can be pleasant or, or eating just eating and drinking anything so so doing things is is pleasant or can be pleasant or it can be not so pleasant if it's painful so we want to, to look towards thinking things that are pleasant to do and we do them and that's a pleasant life we have a pleasant life when we do that now as far as time travel uh, we can go back in time I, now this it comes from Seth of the Jane Roberts material and and I've I've mold over it for many decades and uh and and, and, it's, and it sounds right to me and it, and it is right because of the my experiences I, uh, so so we can um we can go back and uh and not just the seth material but but metaphysics in general theosophy and d different um, eastern religions we um we we, we uh, can go back in time and, and look at it it's as though we're looking at a film that like go back and re and watch this video 20 years later something like that where we can review what what has happened but it, but what has happened has happened and it's in a recorded in memory yet be having been recorded in memory it can be uh, it can be changed we can change our memories but others who have experienced the same uh, the same um, uh, narrative they'll have it recorded in memory so uh, we we need to, if we're going to really go back and ch make changes to time to what happened we would need to have a, a full agreement by all the participants yes this and we can make changes in in our past or future our past actually and so this is what time is is it's uh, it's 
the recording of what has happened, just like right now, just this minute. Look, watch this, and now watch that. Okay, my hand moved from here to there. That takes place over time. Without having time, we, that wouldn't happen. But there is no such thing as time, it's consciousness. So this changing from here to there creates an illusion of time. And so we can, um, we, we can also go back in time. Uh, we, we can revisit what was recorded, like I say, just like this video. Uh, and we can also uh, connect up with the, the players of, the, of what, what was happened in the past, because they still exist. But they're different now. They've moved on. They're in the spirit. And, and so, um, and these are what we call reincarnational selves. Our reincarnation, we can go back and visit our reincarnational selves. That's parts of us who have lived in previous times. Uh, and, and I've done this. I have a book uh, titled um, Cleopatra and Exelon, which goes back and, and records what I've learned uh, with, with some degree of fiction, some degree of, of truth uh, through um, what we call the alpha state. The alpha state is a is a state between mind and it's it's, it's between mind and um, um, uh, sleeping and waking. It's 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 that state that we go through when we go to sleep at night and when we awake in the morning. We 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 travel through this what we call the alpha state, and so um, that is. Um, uh, the alpha state is is um, where we can go back and, and look at the past and look at the future. Now the future is just a set of probabilities. We can we can consider is this the better path or is that the better path, and we can explore. We we can go through and explore both paths. Seth talks about this in the Jane Roberts books. We can explore probable realities. And, and find out it's kind of like a chess, uh, computer chess, where the, the computer checks all the moves and decides which is the better move at this point. It, can, it continually does it with each move. So we can do that same thing where we we uh, check uh, just which is the better path to take. And then and then in the next moment or the next day, we, we, we readjust that. Okay, well, uh, that path was this way or that way. So, so, so we can... We can look at the future probabilities, and we can choose the better probability. We can look at the past, and we can't really change it except by an agreement. And by agreement, it's sort of like when um, you think somebody's a bad guy, and uh, but if you go back and, 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 and investigate and find out what his thinking was at that time, and what my thinking or your thinking was, then you might change your thinking. Oh, well, he wasn't such a bad guy. I didn't know that this was true or that he, he believed this or that. And he was just doing what he thought was right. Now, that might be true. It might be the opposite. It might be a malicious person who wants to do you in for his own personal gain. But going back and finding out there were more about the, 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 the intentions of others and maybe even your own blindness. You, you might know things today that you didn't know then and say, oh, gee, if I'd known then, I wouldn't have been so upset. So, so you can be changed by these things. And, and when we are. So if, if, if we can untie that and we can say, okay, I shouldn't have been angry with this person, uh, then you can release that, what we call a karma, but it's bad karma. You can release it. And, and he'll feel, the other person will feel it too, that this something wrong in his head will now suddenly release because you changed it or you, maybe you and him together, you're intertwined with this person, you're, you're entangled with him. And you can remove that entanglement by, by learning things that you didn't know at the time. So this all has to do with time travel now, if we look at the, like the movie Back to the Future the, with the DeLorean uh, car that, that um, Michael J. Fox used to travel through time, well, this, this is a myth, but it could be true. 
it could be true because anything is, can be true. Mind is the foundation of everything. If we want to believe that a DeLorean can move back in time and we can experience that, our mind could give us that. And it probably won't, but it could. And uh, so anything is possible. But the bottom line is that we, we experience things. That experience records as time. And uh, that helps us to... Um, to move forward and and, 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 and and progress in in new ways. Uh, I think that's probably all I need to say, except that uh, my new book, Cleopatra in Exelon, is an excellent book for for getting into the idea of incarnational selves uh, who are us. Same awareness, different consciousness. So the same awareness moves through Two, three thousand years of time, two, 2100 years in this incarnational realm, dips into the physical world, what we call the physical world, but it's a more dense version of, of, of uh, or, or more, more dense shared version of, of thought. And um, in doing so, we, we chart a course across, and, and so our, the world is not round. And it's certainly, and it's not flat. Although flat is probably more logical than round, because it looks flat. The world is flat to us. It's not round unless you're up in outer space, or you can see pictures of the world. But we are actually a strand of consciousness, just like a dream. I'm Dolly Renai, and thank you.